We discussed in a previous video that Thin Manager is made up of two parts. The first is the graphical interface. The second part of Thin Manager, along with the interface, is the Thin Server. The Thin Server is a Windows service that installs on the server and interacts and connects to the Thin Manager interface. You can tell that the Thin Server is running and connected by the fact that there is a small green indicator next to the icon in the Thin Manager tree and that the Thin Man in the upper left of the Thin Manager interface is blue. Thin Server can be located by navigating to the services application on your server. I will restart the service so you can see what happens within Thin Manager. You will see as the service shuts down, the icon in the tree and upper left hand corner turn to red, telling you immediately that you are no longer connected. We can now reconnect to the Thin Server by either clicking the Thin Man at the top or by right clicking and reconnecting from the Thin Manager tree. Once it is reconnected, you will see the icon in the tree again turn to green and the Thin Man turn to blue. Thin Server is the engine that drives the program. It is a vital component that needs to be installed with Thin Manager to allow Thin Manager ready Thin Clients to boot and be configured. Thin Server is the component that requires licensing. It is separated from Thin Manager in the installation to allow additional instances of Thin Manager to be installed for remote administration. By selecting Modify from the right click menu, you are presented with the Thin Manager Server Configuration Wizard. As with most of the wizards in Thin Manager, you are presented with a plethora of options for configuration such as authentication, permissions, scheduling, even events and notifications. Thin Server can be set up for full redundancy synced between multiple servers as desired. In the case of redundancy, you would see multiple Thin Servers in the tree on the left. Thin Server also manages the modules assigned to the individual terminals and adds them to the configuration delivered at the time of boot. The modules are assigned at the terminal level by using the terminal configuration wizard and then included in the configuration from Thin Server when the terminal is booted. Thin Server does the heavy lifting for Thin Manager to make sure you stay securely up and running while keeping productive and efficient.